Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the tropic movements in plants. So what are these movements? Now we were talking about growth. So see what all we have studied. We talked about what is growth, what is development, different uh, important facts about growth. We talked about the growth hormones and we talked about photoperiodism which also influence growth because flowering is, a part, is an aspect of growth. Now we will talk about some of the movements in plants which are related to growth of plants. So plant movement in response to stimulus. So these are growth dependent movements. So let us try to see what are they. Growth dependent movement of a plant in response to stimulus is termed as tropic movement. Okay. Now as I said, in case of animals, the, the st response to stimulus is very, very instant and that happens due to the presence of the nervous system. Right? When you place your finger, when your finger gets into the fire, you immediately take it back because you can feel that heat. That is because of your nervous system. When, but in plants, they do not have any such nervous system. But still, they also respond to stimulus. Now, how do they respond? They respond to stimulus with some movements and those movements are related to the growth of the plant. Now, one example which I would take when I am telling you, when I am talking about tropic movement is the phototropism. That is the movement of the plant in response to light. You saw during the discovery of auxins, it was seen that plants tend to bend towards the direction of light. Right? So, basically that is a response. The stimulus there is light. And the response is the bending of the plant. Now, the bending of the plant in that direction is related to the growth of the plant because that bending happens because of the growth hormone. That bending happens because some part of the plant is growing more than the other part of the plant. So, the movement is related to growth. So, this growth dependent movement in response to a stimulus is called a tropic movement. Now, this is also termed as tropism. Tropism is just another word for tropic movement. Now, when we talk about these tropic movements, there are four types of trop tropic movements which we'll be, we will be talking about. Phototropism, geotropism, hydrotropism and chemotropism. Now, tropism everywhere is there. That is the tropic movement. Photo means light, geo means earth, hydro means water and chemo is chemicals. So, we will see the tropic movements in response to all these different stimulus. So, here light, water, chemicals and earth, they are all act as stimulus for the plant. So, let us first talk about phototropism. It is the bending of a plant in response to light. So normally when the light is evenly falling on the plant, something like this. So all parts of the plant are growing equally. So they do not bend. They tend to grow straight up. But in certain cases, when the light comes slant ways, the plants tend to bend towards light. Now those plant parts which bend towards light, they are said to be positively phototropic. For example, shoots. For example, if you see, see light is present everywhere, right? But do the roots start coming up towards light? No. So the roots are negatively phototropic. That is, the roots do not respond to light. They tend to bend, they tend, do not tend to come towards light. So they are called negatively phototropic. Whereas those plant parts which bend towards light, they are called positively phototropic. Right? Now you might ask that while we were discussing about auxins, we saw that it was because of the presence of auxin that this bending happened. Now auxin is present in the roots also, then why doesn't the bending of root take place? Now that is because auxins are produced in presence of sunlight and auxins are synthesized in the shoot tips. Right? Now auxins are not synthesized in the root tips because they are not exposed to sunlight. So no auxins are produced in the root tips and that is why there is no bending taking place there. Right? Okay. So that is about the positively phototropic and negatively phototropic. So something like this. See, you have kept this plant near your window. So the light is coming from this direction. Therefore, the plant tends to bend in this direction. But if you look at the roots, they tend to go away from the direction of light. 
Geotropism. It is the bending of a plant in response to gravity. Now, there are some parts of the plant which tend to go towards the gravity. Now, the best example would be the roots. So, the roots are said to be positively geotropic because they bend towards gravity. So, here you can see the roots will be going towards the gravity. Similarly, the plants which bend away from the gravity, they are negatively geotropic and example would be shoots. Something like this, if you place a plant like this, you would see that the roots will still bend downwards towards the earth and the shoot will tend to go in the opposite direction. Third is hydrotropism, so bending of plant in response to water. So there are parts which bend towards water which are positively hydrotropic. For example, the roots again. In the soil you have so much of water, right? So the roots are going towards water so they are positively hydrotropic and the shoots are going away so they are negatively hydrotropic. You cannot dip the shoots into water. They will not be able to grow. So they tend to be away from water. The last one that is chemotropism, that is movement of a plant in response to chemicals. So what kind of chemicals am I talking about? So when you talk about chemicals, these are the nutrients which are present in the soil. So roots are positively chemotropic again because they tend to be towards the useful chemicals which are present in the soil. But shoots are not because the chemicals are transported to the shoots through the vascular bundles inside the plant. So the shoots as such are negatively chemotropic. So the roots, now again when you talk about chemotropism, the roots are positively chemotropic for useful minerals but at the same time they are negatively chemotropic for harmful acids because they do not want to take in harmful acids. Now there are certain nastic plant movements as well that is instant uh, response, immediate response to stimulus. So the random plant movements in immediate response to stimulus. What kind of random movements are the movements which we talked about till now like phototropism, geotropism, hydrotropism or chemotropism. They are not random movements. They are like movement in a particular direction and they are gradual movements. Now there are certain movements which are quite random. For example, the creepers, touch me not plant. So they also show some movements but that is an immediate response to stimulus. For example, if you look at the creepers, anything like grapevine or any other creepers which you often uh, put it on your buildings or your gates and they tend to climb over it. So that kind of movement is also because of an immediate response to the stimulus. So what is the stimulus here? The stimulus is the substance who is touching the plant and, on, and as, as taking it as a support, the plant is moving over it. Similarly, if you think of the touch me not plant, as soon as you touch it, what happens? It starts to, the leaves start to move. You just saw in the video, as soon as you touch it, it shows some movement. So this is an immediate response. It is not a gradual response and it doesn't happen in a specific direction or in a specific pattern. So whichever leaf you touch and whichever way you touch, it will show some movement. So this is called nasty. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.